Hey guys, Jacob Scott, Lorance Product Expert. And today, we're gonna show you how to make sure your software is up to date on your Elite TI2. And then if it's not up to date, we're gonna show you how to fix that. One of the easiest ways to see what software version you have on your Elite TI2 and actually any of our other Elite and HDS units is to press the settings button up here at the top and then you'll scroll down the bottom to the about screen. Now as you can see we have 19.1 which is our current software but you can also see my application number 62.1.103 is out of date. I know this because I have a little pop-up here that's telling me that there's a new software update available. If you don't see this right here and you still want to check all you have to do is press support and then press check system for update. As you look here, you see the current version is 19.1, but it also says there's a, a version available of 19.1. And typically what this means is we found an issue that we went ahead and corrected, and we re-released the software to correct that issue. Okay, with any of our Wi-Fi connected units, there's two great easy ways to update the software. First is you download it to your laptop or your desktop and put it on a micro SD card, put it in the unit, turn the unit on, and let it update that way. Or, if you're connected to Wi-Fi, all you have to do is tap into that Wi-Fi stream, have a blank card in your unit, download the software to the unit, and then let it update from there. To wirelessly download the update, first thing you do is you have to have a micro SD card in the slot. So on your TIs and TI2s, that slot's right over here. So we're gonna go ahead and put this card in. There we go, card's in the slot. <clears throat> I always make it a habit of to make sure that my card slot is covered because then your unit maintains its watertight integrity. So now the next thing we're gonna do, so we're gonna hit the settings button. We're gonna go to wireless and we're gonna make sure we're connected to the internet. So this is where you would connect to your home Wi-Fi router or if you've got a mobile hotspot or hotspot from your phone out on the water. We're gonna go ahead and select our Navico guest account here. I'm gonna enter the password, and then I hit connect. As you can see, the unit is now connected. Tells us connected to the hotspot, Navico guest. So we're good to go here. Now we're gonna go ahead and hit our pages key again, then we go to settings, and again, we're gonna go down here to the about. Now we can just touch the update software here and it asks, do you want to download? We're going to hit download, and as you can see, it's starting to download the software. Now this will continue until the software is downloaded. If you want to get an idea of where you're at on your download, if you press your Pages button again and go to Storage, you can see here where it says Transfers. If we touch that, it's going to show the status of our update downloading here. Okay guys, as you can see, it finished the download. Now it gives me two choices here. I can either restart now, and if I do that, it'll go ahead and apply the update, or if I wanna wait until later to do this, all I do is hit later. So we're gonna go ahead and hit restart. As you can see, the unit restarts, and then it's automatically gonna go into the updating the software screen. Okay guys, as you can see, it did the update, and now it's gonna reboot the unit. Okay guys, this unit has come back up. Now you can see that it's gonna ask if we wanna delete the update from the card. So if you don't have any more units to update, all you have to do is say yes. But if you have other units of this same type, like the TI-2 on your boat, all you have to do is pull the card out of this unit, put it in the next unit, and turn that unit on, just like you would with a regular software update. We're gonna go ahead and say yes to delete this. We come up to our accept screen, we hit accept. It's gonna ask about registering. I'm gonna tell it to remind me later. We're gonna hit the pages key. Again, we're gonna go to settings. And then we're gonna scroll down to the about screen. 
And as you can see, we're still at 19.1 with our application of 62.1.153. So this unit is up to date and ready to take to the water. So here's my micro SD card that I downloaded the software onto my laptop, put it on this card. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and put this card in the unit. And then from here, we're gonna power the unit off. And then we're gonna hit the power button and turn this unit back on. Now, as you see, once it starts to boot up, it's gonna automatically see the software update on the card. As you can see here, there it is. It says we've got a software update. Now it's gonna update this unit. Just like you saw on the Wi-Fi side of it, it's gonna reboot the unit after it's updated. I hit the accept screen. As you can see, again, it gives me a reminder to register my device. I'm gonna tell it to remind me later. And just like with the Wi-Fi, we're gonna hit the pages key. We're gonna to go to the settings. We're gonna look at the about screen as you can see, we're version 19.1, but we've updated our application to 62.1.153. So again, this unit, updating from an SD card that you've downloaded from your laptop or your computer, is ready to take to the water and start fishing. Now we've shown you how to update your Elite TI2 using either a manual download from a laptop or a desktop computer, and also doing it by Wi-Fi. Don't forget, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to click the link right up here and subscribe to the Lawrence YouTube channel to get this and other valuable technical information.